So an intro is about a play. It's going to be about 10 minutes long. So that's how far you need to skip forward if you don't want to watch it. Though it will obviously explain, I guess, how or what's going down to start with. But I'll do a summary afterwards. A summary of the intro, that is. Not just of some random theory on pineapples in a field and their distribution relative to trees or... Hello! My name's something Brian. Like, like that, I'm here to tell you about something that I happened guess. to me a few weeks ago. But first a question. Isn't it truly amazing that your life can be turned upside down in just one-tenth of a second? It can. And soon, you'll find out why. Let's not bore you with a lot of details about my life. I'll cut to the chase. I was born in New York 23 years ago, and growing up, I was always somewhat of a child prodigy. I studied at Columbia and finished my physics degree with honors last year. During the summer, I arranged interviews with several universities, hoping I'd get into a decent PhD program. And in the end, I was chosen by the best. Professor Silva at Berkeley offered me the chance to do my doctoral studies at the applied physics department he runs there. It was a dream come true. I packed my bags and got ready to move to California. I was ready to drive from coast to coast without stopping. I had no idea of the events that would take place within just a few days. About the mess I was going to get in. Strange people about to cross my path. The hundreds of dangers lurking behind every corner. Yes, it was quite an adventure. beginning. As I told you, my old car and I were ready to go to California. I decided to take off at night and get a few miles behind me before dawn. I said goodbye to my parents, my sister and my dog, and I got behind the wheel. That's when I remembered I forgot to pick up a book I'd ordered at a bookshop downtown in Manhattan. Luckily, it was one of those bookstores that stays open 24-7, so I decided to grab the book on the way. I could have asked them to mail it to me once I got to California, but uh, no, I decided to go into Manhattan and get it myself. That one detour changed my life forever.
Oh my god! Stay away. It's better if they don't see us. She's unconscious. I'm taking her to the hospital. We'll take care of her at the hospital. Maybe that moron did the dirty work for us and she's already dead. Maybe. But we better make sure. did. I'm telling you. On the way to the bookshop, I hit that girl with my car. I was scared stiff. She suddenly ran out in front of me. There was no way I could stop. Luckily for both of us, she wasn't that badly hurt. They did a bunch of tests on her at the hospital and said she had no major injuries. She was just in shock. So they decided to keep her under observation for 24 hours. A nurse took her to a room and gave her some strong medicine that put her to sleep. By the way, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, the girl's name was Gina, and she was amazingly beautiful. The truth is, I had no reason to stick around, so I went to say goodbye to her and go on my way. Please, don't leave. They want to kill me. There, there. Calm down. It's all over now. I hit you with my car, but you're fine. You're in a hospital recovering from... No, I'm telling you, they want me dead. I've got to get out of here. Who were they? Please. Calm down and tell me why you think they want to murder you. Something awful happened tonight, and I witnessed the whole thing. Look, I'm a singer. I work at the Pink Iguana, a trendy place with live shows. This evening, when I finished my act, my dad was waiting for me. He works for a secret government agency. He told me he needed to tell me something. He said it was an emergency. Come a little closer. Gina, kiddo, I'm in danger. I've gotten into a really big mess, and I'm afraid you're not safe either. What's the matter, Daddy? Oh, you're frightening me. There's no time to explain. They're right behind me. I need you to keep this crucifix, and no matter what happens, don't let them find out you have it. You can't trust anybody, not even the police. But Daddy, please, tell me what's going on. They're here. Quick, grab the crucifix, and don't let them see you with me. It was awful. Some guys pulled my dad away and took him into the storeroom. I scrambled away just in time and got the crucifix without them seeing me. I followed them to the storeroom. They tied my dad to a chair and violently started interrogating him. These two henchmen wouldn't stop hitting him, and my heart froze when I saw who was giving the orders. The Sandretti brothers. The famous mafia bosses? How'd your dad get mixed up with those guys? I don't know, but they... Get him to tell you what he knows. Speak the truth out of him, if you must. Speak. Where is it? I won't say a word. Damn you! You're gonna speak now. Speak or die. You choose. Go to hell! It seems our friend doesn't want to cooperate. What a shame. So, we got a tough boy on our hands. You're not easily convinced, huh? Boys, maybe you're being too soft on our little hero. Did you hear that? The boss says we're being softies. Hiya! What are you doing? Didn't you hear his neck crack? You killed him, man. Up there. You already know the rest of the story. I ran out through an alleyway, and when I crossed the street... Please, don't leave me. They'll kill me. Don't worry. Just rest for now. Go to sleep. I won't leave you. She fell asleep. Those tranquilizers must have taken effect. What a story. I don't know what to think. The poor thing is probably in shock from the accident. I bet she dreamt all this, but what if it's true? What if her life really is in danger? I can't just leave her here and forget all about it. I'd never forgive myself if something happened to her. Okay, that's it. I'm not leaving this hospital until I'm sure Gina's completely out of danger. But how are you supposed to act in a situation like this? 
Yeah, I, I think I'd better do something to protect Gina in case those mafia murderers she says want to kill her show up. I'm just gonna uh, poke around while I explain what's going on. This is Runaway Road Adventure. Those are the same kind of Runaway, sorry. Runaway colon a road adventure. It's part of the oh, Runaway series. And it's a point and click adventure. Uh, it's by Pendula Studios. It's a point and click adventure. Uh, so they'll be pointing and clicking and adventuring. Essentially, what goes on? The summary of the intro is I was on my way to Berkeley. As you do, because I'm just starting, I've got some sort of grant, I'm, I'm, a, I'm quite a big deal, some sort of child prodigy, as you are, I and where the patients keep their I was going, and I realised I needed a book, but instead of getting it sent, Standard hospital like the average man would do, I decided, you know what, I'll just go to a 24-7 bookstore, which apparently exists, and, a description of her and then it will be fine, but it wasn't doctor. fine, because I ran over a woman, and the mafia were after the woman, because she had a crucifix given to her by her dad. And, and the mafia were like, hey, yeah, I'm gonna interrogate you, like, hey, Mr. Mr. Dead Man, because I can't remember your name, I'm gonna, like, punch you in the face, and and then you're gonna oh, tell me where it is. Oh, you're not telling me where it is? Well, I'm gonna stroke you in the face. Oh, I broke your neck. Now you're dead, I can't talk. You can't talk to me. And, uh, the, the main guy was like, oh, but now we need to find the daughter. Or something like that. So now they're after the daughter, which I have, because I run over the car. And she didn't want to tell the police about this, well, because you can't trust the police, but you can trust even any the man that run you over with a car. I like that big so, apple so here I am. I think the moral of the story is... It's one of those waste baskets that opens use Amazon, don't go to a 24-7 bookstore. I think that's... Essentially it's one of those, you know, games with a, with a life lesson. And that that's the life lesson. So, I feel like... I feel like I should be able to pick some of these stuff, this stuff up, and I'm and I'm missing something. What can I say? It's just a toilet. Like there's a, because there, there haven't been any key commands. There's no been like do this. Maybe it's the first first step is figuring out the buttons. This is the first puzzle, and I'm failing badly. I don't think I should go failing out. I'm afraid that if really badly. finds me here, they might make me leave the hospital. I suppose that's where the patients keep their personal belongings. And on the seventh day, Arts learnt that if you right-click, you can pick up items. I and the game became this. possible. So I've got some alcohol now, which... I mean, how long it re took me to realise that it's locked shut. I have to right-click to pick things up. That I it's probably need the alcohol or I've already been on it. Inside the wall. Right, what can I do? Anything else I can grab in here? Oh, this button was in the bin. Someone threw away a marking pen. I'll have the marking pen then. It might still work. You know, that is that is what well, I'm that kind of guy. I just see a marking pen in a bin and I think, hey, you know, I might need that. But this this locked medicine cabinet, I'm not I'm not willing to, to break it open. But I'll take a marker pen out of the bin. It's just me. That's me, old old Brian. Alright. What else we got? Oh, I could take the pills. Yeah, it could be an easy way out for me if I just take the pills. Snooze at all. One of the finest brands on the market. Yep, big fan. Um, oh, I've got the glass. Nice. Have that. It's crashed. Gina must have broken it when she took that sleeping pill. How? She was she was coherent and awake. I don't know. I don't have the key. Um, Gina, I'm just gonna take your bag. Do you mind? Just just say if you don't want me to. No, no complaints. Okay, cool. Cheers. Gina wakes up. I gave, I gave her a chance to, to say, no, don't take my bag, but, you know, you snooze, you lose. Hmm. Quite literal here. I, I better not. If someone came in, they might get suspicious if they see the chart is empty. If, right, so, he, I wasn't allowed to go out earlier. That wasn't that wasn't cool, in case nurses saw me and got me out. But then if, if they come in here, like the biggest issue is the chart, apparently. Not the fact that I'm, I'm here, but I'm not allowed in the hallway. I mean, I have no, no consistency about me. Besides, I think it's only activated by heat. Can't... Right, the fire. I'm gonna have to set that off at some point, let's be honest with ourselves here. Uh, light switch at the chair. Did I get everything from in here? What was that? What was that sign on the door? I feel like I should have read that. 
but I didn't. Right, inventory. What have I got? Anything I can use? My glass, can I fill it up? Can I fill it up? Fill my glass with water. That won't work as a faucet. Okay, sorry. Um Amber Amber with anything. That won't work as a faucet. That doesn't seem like a very Amber's good idea to me. It's gonna be used here. That doesn't make sense. I can't combine it with my keys. I'm out of ideas. I'm fresh out. If you can't use amber as a faucet and you can't use it to smash open a cupboard and it doesn't combine with the keys. Inside of the bottle. It's safer I just don't. That way. I still don't know what other use it has. Can I use these keys? I don't think that's a good well, plan. I think it's a pretty good plan actually, if the keys fit in the lock randomly. At least try. You never know. Car keys and medicine cabinet locks are often compatible. Nah, I don't see what I could use that for. But the the marker pen in the bin, that has a use, but not this out of order sign. What could I do with the shower nozzle? I'm I'm I'm, I'm inconsistent with what I think's useful. Right now. That's and yes, I admit sure. I'm pretty shy about doing certain things in public, okay? Who are you talking to? Who am I talking to? No, I don't feel like washing my hands. Confused. I don't know what's going on anymore. Need to figure out how to get out of this place. I can't. It's, it's locked shut. If I want to get out, it's locked and it can't open. Hmm. Well, she's written impasse here. I've uh, been wandering around for a while, um, and not really got around. Um, and this thing I mentioned earlier, I forgot to check because I checked it a second ago. It's a map of this floor of the hospital. So. Here's the room I'm in. Here's the hall, and if I'm not mistaken, across the hall and just to the left of this room, there's a storeroom. That could be interesting. So I imagine this is one of those things. Even though, like, I want to explore, you know, I don't need I'm to trying to protect him and that stuff. You can see it fine from right here. But in fact, though, I'm not willing to do that unless I know where I'm going. I have issues. I don't think I should go out. I'm afraid that if some nurse finds me mm. here, they might make me leave the hospital. I still can't use the door. Let's try this window again. Because that seems like a safe plan. Okay, I'll try to reach the yeah. storeroom by walking along the Seems ledge. a lot better than chancing it in the hallway. Tell the grandkids. And... I think I'm reasonably high up. Yikes! I better not look down. Uh... Yep, reasonably high up. Here. Nice little pink hospital sign there, just people know what it is. Didn't make it. So, the map was right. This is the storeroom. Let's see what I can find in this dump. Probably a lot. Storeroom is... contain all sorts of medical equipment. Tend to store things, both by name and nature. That. So we got here anything? Uh... There are several files inside labeled incoming and outgoing medicine. Can I from night can I do anything with them? No. There's several files in from night skip that. Those files don't interest me. No, I don't fancy them. At the medical about... school behind my department at the university, they had a bunch of these. Great, what about these uh can I take it? Mm, okay. But I think I'll just take his head with me. Yeah. I mean his I seem to have infinite character space anyway, because so God knows where I'm putting this head, but the body. That would be too much to take the whole thing. The drawers are locked shut. Can I open the drawer? Even that's too locked. much. I don't want to take it, I want to open the door. I think it wastes. I don't want to take that either, I want to open the door. I don't think I'll be needing. There's probably more in here. What stuff I'm missing? It's some kind of stand so, to hang the little bottle of serum on a hook. All I'm searching here, no. the things I've got on me are um I'll take the pills, home. the Well, they're big and very fluffy. Oh nice. Uh, some pillows. Have a little nap. Just in case this all gets a bit too much for me, I can now rest. Um, I've got the... Looky here. The only thing I can think of, of buying is the... I may Ooh. be needing this. Nice. Uh, spray cleaner. Can I take the spray cleaner? This could be useful. Ah, getting quite a few things from here, actually. This has turned out to be a good storeroom. Uh, as as storerooms go for looting, this has been up there with with the best of them. So 
the only thing I think is the alcohol and the pen. The dry the part marker pen was dry last time I checked it. And it's not gonna magically get undry. And obviously alcohol on a marker pen can get it going again. At least I didn't know. I think it weighs too much. Yeah, learning stuff. I don't want to take that. I want to get in the file. Full of files, papers, and other hospital records. Piece of paper. Can I get this piece of paper? It's blank. Just a blank Tiny piece of paper. Get into trouble. Not sure what use that's going to be, but I mean, we'll find out. Okay, so <sighs> what have I got? Blank medical chart time would be very nice. Uh, Let's see. June, I'm going to go in your bag again. Is that okay? Yeah, cool. No no complaints? Okay, fine. Cool. Yes, this wig is just what I was looking for. It was. I was... I didn't know it before, but now now I found it. I realised the wig was what well, I was looking for. That way no one can see the hole in his head. That's... I think, though, still, haven't covered that up, that I would probably realise that's not Great. a woman. This marker's as dry as a bone. It won't work. So I can't use it obviously on that because it's dry. But I could put the alcohol on it. This marker's too narrow. I need a way to funnel alcohol into uh, it. Oh, find a funnel. Uh, did I miss something in the storage room or the bathroom or? Because the cup with the crack's not going to do it. No, I can't really see any. I keep accidentally bringing up that screen as well. Because I want to press escape to get out of the, the tab. Tab is menu. And I want to press escape to get out. I mean, tab is inventory. And I want to press escape to get out of it, but escape actually brings up another menu. Alright, see? See? Done it again. I, I try to skip this thing by pressing escape and it just brings up that. Because I've seen this cutscene before. I don't know if you're, you're aware. But the fact it happened about a minute ago. They contain all sorts of medical There's equipment. got to be something over here. I don't need any of that. Anything around it? Box of medicine. I don't need any of that. Somewhere. Anywhere. Some sort of funnel. Funnel. Here. Funnel, funnel, funnel. I don't know what's inside, but they give me bad vibes. Okay. It's probably better to stay away from Probably is. Because it's not a funnel, and what I need is a funnel of a sort. Some way of getting alcohol from bottle A to marker pen B. Not sure the A and B are entirely required there. Syringes. syringes. That's ideal. I'll grab one. You grab one. It's empty. That's fine, because we're going to fill it up with some alcohol. Shove it in the marker pen. Now the syringe is full of alcohol. Live the dream. I now will own. Hey, bet you that put some new life into the marker. It's got new life. It First is a born again marker pen. A uh, which it had a had a bad time. Found a high belief and was was Good. born again. Can't tell the difference between this and a. And the high belief was alcohol, which is probably quite similar to to real real life. So again, that that screen, great work. Just keep bringing that up. It's not going to be a problem, is it? see uh so we've got a wig a chart which we can obviously doctor mm, sheets and a pillow really know what to do. so clearly here we're gonna have set up um i don't see any reason a... for doing that well okay i was gonna say after we use the sheets to anywhere doing that create a f make it look like she's there so when the thugs come in anywhere doing that. they they no. read her medical chart so i imagine there's gonna be some switcheroo and going involved um, I don't like that idea. I don't like that idea, but... Can I put this one in there? Oh, I can take that, there we go. So now, I don't know who she is. Good, that way nobody will know it's Gina Lyon. I mean, they know what she looks like, but that's not an issue, surely. Really Alright. So I'll just, just check, check out Gina for a bit. Needs to recover from the shock. Maybe this is all just a bit too much, though. Maybe I should just... Maybe I should just kill her off. Can I just suffocate her with a pillow? Can I just shove that over her face, smother her? You won't get anywhere doing that. I will get somewhere. I think you'll find I will get out of this situation I'm in. And I will no longer have the, these troubles. So, I will definitely get somewhere. But, understand if you're not willing to cross that boundary. Very disappointing. Very disappointing indeed. 
So, back to plan B of making up this fake Gina. That won't work. Well, that will work. Um, okay, so let's put that in there. Probably not a very good idea if the bed is empty. But you wouldn't let me put sheets on the bed. Can I put the head there? Okay. If I use the pillows to look like the body, the head with the wig and a sheet to cover it all up a bit, I can make it look like a woman is sleeping. It's not like that was my intention with the sheet at all. But it's fine. Yep. That should do that the trick. That should do the trick. You can't see that hole in the brain. Now can I put this in here? Perfect. That way they'll think it's Gina who's in the bed. Yep, they will. Uh, what have I got left to do? No, I don't want to burn that. Don't want to burn that at all. That doesn't seem like a very good idea to me. I think it seems like a very good idea. I'd burn stuff. Uh, this, you're very negative, Brian. You know? I don't see why I would want to set off the sprinkler. That'd just get me soaking wet. Jeez. You're not really a solution, man. You're more of a problem, man, aren't you? Come on, let's just, you know, just stop looking past all these issues and start wow, finding answers. This is thorough. It includes a description of almost every medicine known to man. Okay, is that going anywhere? Okay, looking that's got me nowhere, so, um, should I go, yeah, let me something in the bathroom. This isn't her, she must be the one in the other bed. Say goodbye to the world, you little tramp. Hey! Gina! Hey! 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 Phew! She's just asleep. 